Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching today. Today's video is for Wednesday, March 1st. And today it's the topic is setting a higher standard. I won't keep it too long today. The standard, you're, you, wherever you're at in things that you can totally control, like I'm going to contend with your business, maybe your health, maybe some of your happiness. If there's things that are totally not in your control, like I know health-wise, people might have, have things going wrong that they can't control, or maybe there's things happening in your life that you really, uh, outside forces are beating you down, and it's hard to control those standards. But most of things in life, I think for most people, there's, there's qualities of your health. There's qualities or standards that you have in your health, standards you have for your business, standards you have in your relationships, standards you have in your happiness. Now, wherever you're at, is that's probably where you're putting the level of your standards. What level, what standards do you have? So I'll stick with the real estate business because I go on and on about different things. But what is your standard for building your real estate business, that your standard of how much you're going to work daily to build your business. What are your standards for customer service when you have buyers and sellers? What are your standards uh, for when after closing and follow up and thanking your clients and the people that gave you referrals? What are your standards with that? What's your standards for follow up over the future? What standards do you have that you are giving, uh, that you're setting for yourself? And sometimes you have to raise those standards. If you're not at the level or at the uh, happiness or the success level of wherever you are in your life, you might have to raise your standards of what your minimum going to do your minimum that you're going to put up with, the minimum that you're going to accept. You know, some people, especially when you're a salesperson in real estate, will not accept working a certain, you know, a minimum amount of hours, like just sitting back waiting for the phone to ring. Some, uh, when you're in a sales business where it's commission only, some people won't accept a certain minimum dollar amount that they want to make. Again, I, I've said this in many videos, a lot of new agents, a lot of agents out there, they go, well, I just want to make as much money as possible. That never work, rarely works out for you. You got to set a standard. I want to make this amount of money. Now, again, not going to other tangents of training, then I got to work this much. I got to talk to this many people. I got to follow up this many people. I got to add more people to my database. It's just a mathematical formula and it's building skills. So what is your minimum standard? And maybe it's time to raise that minimum standard. Raise your standards. So if you want to go deep into this a little bit more, I know specifically to you, because that's in general for people, <laughs> I'm happy to do so. Call, text, email me, put you in my schedule. We'll go over what your minimum standard is and what you should be raising your standard uh, for almost anything in life, especially real estate. I'm good at that. <laughs> so that's it. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.